Hello guys, how are we doing? I am in not so sunny, very wet and windy Wales Rally GP and I love it. It's a classic rally, it's one of the absolute legends. This nutter is Matthew Wilson, you all know him, he's back. Don't stop Chile! You're like a sturdy mountain goat through here, Wilson. <laughs> Sebastian Ogier, 17 points behind our championship leader, Oit Tanak, Thierry Neuville in third, 13 back. This weekend, for me, is critical, mate. This is gonna be the probably the most crucial event of the year, and yep. whoever wins here is probably gonna put themselves in a good position for the championship. Sebastian Ogier is won here five times. You know, he knows what he's got to do to win here, but he's had very little testing in that Citroen C3 in the, these kind of wet, muddy conditions. Yeah, I think I even heard that they had to try and water the road at one point, try and get him some representative conditions, so yeah. it's, it's not going to be easy for him. It's going to be tricky, it's going to be good, it's going to be fun. Speaking of fun, those of you who remember watching Going Straight Sideways, that epic series on Red Bull TV, you'll know that my co-driver was Rich Milner. He's now team principal alongside team boss, Malcolm Wilson, and I decided to have a go playing WRC8 with Rich. Have a bit of that, sir. Right, Rich, a couple of years ago, yeah. as you well know, we competed together in the National Rally. Competed in a strong. Competed as <laughs> competed a loose term. Yeah. Yeah. In Going Straight Sideways, in a series on Red Bull TV. We competed here in Wales. Well, my man, we're going to resurrect it with WRC 8. You versus me, baby. Let's go. If there's one man in the world I really do not want to lose this game to, it's him. Push the yellow button. Right. So bad. Just uh, preparing for the opening sequence of the Red Bull TV show. Neil's um, shirking cleaning responsibilities by pretending to do stuff with his camera. Mark is cleaning. But doing a terrible job. Look at look at all this. Look at all this muck in here. Things I have to put up with. How long does it take to set up a camera, Neil? The you thing is, the thing is, I, I I got out and I cleaned half of this car, and then they said, "Oh, Jenny, can you just film us doing a bit of work, please?" That's what's going on. He's all, look, he's cleaning clean bits. What? I'm getting out of shot. I'm not getting caught cleaning. <laughs> I am actually cleaning. Hey, look at that. Our presenter's working finally. And it's not even his car. No, it's definitely not my car. Let's just let's just confirm that. One day. Done. Done. Any second now, any second now, any second now, any second now, any second now. That one was good without the laugh. Welcome to my home. Welcome to Wales Rocky GB. Have you missed me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Matthew or Malcolm? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no Matt's going to watch this. And he, he's one of my best mates and he's literally over there. And his dad's here. Oh, I can't answer that. It's Malcolm. No, Matt. No, Malcolm. No, Matt. Ah! Right, we're just about to go and uh, do the commentary for the final stage of Rally GB. There's Matt, say hello Matt. Hello Matt. And uh, we're just gonna go and give you a quick tour of the commentary box. There's Neil and Julian and Mark, say hello fellas. And uh, basically it's gonna get dark now. Here we go, it all gets a little bit dark. We'll just spin the camera around. And you can see we've got our monitor here. These are the pictures that will come in. This is our little comm box that we can connect back to Salzburg with. We can talk to each other. Those are Matt's headphones, those are mine. I think we'll have another timing monitor that hasn't been set up just yet. That'll arrive any second now, which allows me to have a look at the splits. And uh, should be a good power stage. Who's gonna win it? Let's find out. The win under five points from the power stage is going to be an incredible weekend for him and I think he's got one hand on the championship at that point. It's going to be so close. Yes, he can. Half a second quicker than Sebastian Ogier. Unbelievable. Oik Tanak wins the rally and wins the power stage. Take 25 championship points for the rally win and five extra unbelievable drive from Oik Tanak this weekend. One, two, three. What a stage that was, Oit Tanak. Here's Neil and Mark, we've got to go and finish filming the Red Bull TV links for the Sunday Rally Review Show. Uh, Matt, go and do that. Let's go. Let's go and do that. Bye. Oh, come on then. Thanks, dude. Right, don't say I don't look after you. They're not bad, are they? They're all right, they're all right. We are beside the sea, so this should be all right. You expect them to be good. Good weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, Oi Tanak was incredible, wasn't it? Unbelievable. The other one, for me, Elvin Evans. I don't know what you think, but... Brilliant drive. Hell of a drive. Yeah. Me. There's a little bit of me that's gutted that he had that error on Friday, because it would have been such a fairy tale return to the WRC after his back injury. He lost more than 50 seconds, and he ended up 45 seconds from the lead, didn't he? So, there you go. The Manufacturer's Championship. I think there's only eight points now, the difference between Hyundai and Toyota. We could see Andrea Damo's interview, couldn't we, after the power stage? What a happy boy! Difficult before, I can see only even more difficult now. My fish and chips are going cold. We hope you've enjoyed the vlog. We'll be back in Spain in three weeks' time. Matt will be back, I'll be back. We'll see you then. Goodbye! <laughs>